CP or cerebral palsy is a developmental disorder in children characterized by movement disorders primarily. This is caused by the damage to parts of the brain while the child is in the womb or in pregnancy. There are several causes that are attributed to cerebral palsy. Some of them are infections during pregnancy, exposure to certain toxins during pregnancy. Some aspects, some, some cases of cerebral palsy can also manifest after birth or during birth. Hypoxia or the lack of oxygen during the process of birth or soon after can also be a cause of cerebral palsy. Basically what happens in cerebral palsy is that parts of the brain get damaged leading to paralysis of that area which in turn leads to the movement disorders and that is when it is called as cerebral palsy. In addition to movement disorders there can also be problems with vision, with hearing, with speech, with swallowing and even with intelligence and IQ. Cerebral palsy being predominantly a movement disorder can be categorized into three varieties. The major part of children with cerebral palsy suffer from spasticity or tightness of the muscles. The muscles are too tight which changes their gait and they walk in a scissor like gait with the legs overlapping each other. Tightness of the muscles becomes one of the most important problems in that category of children who are spastic cerebral palsy patients. The next type of cerebral palsy is called as dystonic cerebral palsy where the basal ganglia is the part that is affected leading to involuntary movements of the limbs. The second variety of cerebral palsy is called dyskinetic cerebral palsy and is characterized by involuntary movements of two varieties. One is called dystonia and the other is called chorea. Dystonia comprises of minor involuntary movements. It can happen in the face or in the limbs. And chorea comprises of elaborate movements like dance-like movements that are also involuntary in nature. The third type of cerebral palsy is ataxic cerebral palsy and is characterized by poor coordination of movements leading to clumsiness of movements and children who suffer from this type of cerebral palsy tend to be clumsy and cannot hold objects properly or they trip over and so on and so forth. Here the cerebellum is the part that is affected. In addition to these movement disorders, children with cerebral palsy very often also suffer from loss of vision, loss of hearing, loss of intellectual activity, difficulty in swallowing which can lead to eating disorders and so on and so forth. So there is a whole range of developmental issues that accompanies cerebral palsy as well. So the treatment of cerebral palsy is aimed at improving the quality of life of the patient. Cerebral palsy is not completely curable, but the whole goal is to make the person independent in life. So a whole range of interventions and a multidisciplinary approach is what is recommended as a treatment approach to cerebral palsy. The team comprising of a neurologist, of a surgeon, of a physiotherapist, occupational therapist, speech therapist, the parents and the whole uh, lot, the whole multidisciplinary team goes into the treatment of cerebral palsy. For stiffness of the muscles, there are, there are medicines that can help in improving the muscle tone, which is the most common one, the spastic cerebral palsy, which comprises 70% of CP patients. So there are muscle relaxants and in very extreme cases, sometimes the need for surgery is there to complete, to stretch, the, to elongate the muscle and, and to reduce the spasticity, thereby enabling better movement. Sometimes the bones also need to be corrected in order to improve the gait and to help in the, the children becoming independent in their movement. However, there is a huge level of impact that physiotherapy or neurodevelopmental therapy, occupational therapy and speech therapy play in rehabilitating these children to lead near normal lives. In Ayurveda, the CP children can also be given a full course of treatment. Ayurvedic treatment comprises of internal medicines as well as external therapies that help to relieve spasticity. The oil massages which are very popular in Ayurveda using medicated oils and used as massages on the parts of the body helps in relieving the stiffness of the muscles and helps the children improve their movement and stability. But internal medicines are also very helpful in improving problems like cognitive problems, 
speech problems and so on and so forth. At Avian Arogya, we offer the whole range of Ayurvedic treatments combined with physiotherapy, occupational therapy and speech therapy to help rehabilitate children with cerebral palsy to lead better life. We also have the services of a developmental pediatrician who would advise allopathic medication, muscle relaxants and so on and so forth, whatever be the medicines that are relevant in the specific conditions to enhance the whole quality of treatment so that the children are able to lead a much better quality of life. So though cerebral palsy is not completely curable, children can improve dramatically with this sort of a multidisciplinary approach that we can offer from avian arogya.